From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Researchers have begun testing a drug that they say could stop the aging process. Forget that! How about one that reverses aging? I mean, I'm okay living a couple hundred years, but not if I'm going to look like this. Funding to keep the federal government running will run out at midnight this Friday unless Congress passes a new spending bill and President Trump signs it into law. Well, I don't know, you know, the way things have been going, would the government shutting down be all that bad of a thing? Experts agree that an aerobic exercise routine during the day can keep you from tossing and turning at night, even if they're not sure why. Uh, I don't know, uh, maybe because you're too exhausted to turn over? A study says that being skinny is linked to depression. That's right, these extra pounds here, that's mental health, baby. Instagram stopped working Monday afternoon. The social network experienced several issues starting around 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Yet, despite the panic, the world did not end. Since we're talking about Instagram, here is an indication of how influential Instagram is. Parents are now naming their babies after the app's photo filters. Lux, Amaro, Hudson, Kelvin, Valencia, and others. And if you name your kid X-Pro2, you should probably be reported to child welfare. It turns out that when men buy new undies, it means the economy is improving. The Washington Post reports that, in general, sales of men's underwear are actually fairly stable, since they are considered a necessity. But when times get tough financially, men make do with the old boxers and briefs, and that causes underwear sales to drop. So, men, do your part to stimulate the economy. Buy some new boxers. The country is counting on you. An artist named Sabo has run around Los Angeles putting up posters for the movie It, but instead of it being a scary clown, the posters feature Caitlyn Jenner. Well, I, you know, I gotta admit that would be terrifying. Three people were treated for injuries after a fire in an apartment building in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Another person was arrested at the scene of the fire. Police say the person attempted to save their beer by pushing past police and firefighters. Sounds like somebody is obviously in need of a few AA meetings. Astronaut Peggy Whitson broke the U.S. record on Monday for most time in space and took a congratulatory call from Donald Trump. The International Space Station's commander surpassed the record of 534 days, 2 hours and 48 minutes for most accumulated time in space by an American. Since having the phone call, though, Peggy has decided to stay in space a while longer to avoid meeting the new president in person. Be sure to join me for my first official live chat on YouTube. It's coming up Saturday, May 6th at 3 p.m. Central Time. That's 4 p.m. Eastern or 1 p.m. Pacific. We'll do a q and I'll have a giveaway or two. I might even tell a weird darkness story during the broadcast. That's Saturday, May 6th. Hope you can join me. Hey, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. And if you're already an official weirdo, please do me a favor and share this with your friends. Hey, you've been asking for it? Well, now it is open. The Marler House Store. It has daily dose of weird news and weird darkness t-shirts, coffee mugs, phone cases, and more. Check it out at MarlerHouse.com slash store. While you're there, how about you sign up for the Marler Sheet? It is the official newsletter of Marler House. Subscribers to the Marler Sheet are automatically entered to win monthly prize drawings, including those shirts and mugs I was just telling you about. Sign up for the Marler Sheet free today at MarlerHouse.com. For more weird news anytime, visit DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marler, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!